This right here is a prime example why it's not as simple as if it fits, send it. And I'll show you exactly why. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I just got a new 7x16 dump trailer, and I need to find out, can I safely haul my tractor in this trailer? And we're going to test that today in a couple of different tractor configurations. We're going to talk about safely loading and share some tips on that. And it kind of seems, when you first think about it, like you can just measure your machine, measure your trailer, if it fits, it works. But it's really not that simple because you don't just have to get the machine into the trailer. When you're talking about something heavy, you need to get the machine into the trailer with the weight properly centered so that you have the correct amount of tongue weight and it rides safely. So that's what we're gonna do today. Right now, I'm getting ready to go to a driveway repair job and I'll need the box blade and the bucket and then I'm gonna have to go get rock. And being able to haul it in this trailer saves me at least one trip, if not two today. But currently the tractor has the backhoe set up on it, and I wanna know if it's going to fit and ride properly with the backhoe on. So first we'll check it in that configuration, then we'll swap attachments and check it again. Yesterday's video, I hauled the skid loader in this same trailer and found out that I needed to haul it bucket forward and exactly where to park it. And that's the same thing we're trying to find out today. Exactly where to park and do I go on forward or backward. Some of this is gonna feel like a repeat of yesterday because I'm gonna take the same safety precautions. Parking brake on the truck, locked before I start. Wheel chocks on the trailer, jack stands under the back of the trailer. So I'll get all that in place real quick and then bring the tractor down and see how it goes. We've ran into our first problem for the day, and this is why the, if it fits, it ships, just use a tape measure and you'll know, mindset doesn't work. The backhoe is bottomed out because the ramp's too steep. Um, I can't pull forward anymore. And I think the solution is going to be to go ahead and put the dump bed at a little bit of an incline to make the transition less less aggressive right here at the bottom. Can't even say for sure if that'll work. And we still have the option to try backing it on. So, you know, I think before I change the trailer orientation, I'll try backing on. That's what I was afraid of. We have the same geometry problem here. The backhoe subframe is hitting the ramp. So I'm gonna put a little incline on the dump bed and see if that fixes this.
So now we've got it loaded and the doors are going to close so it fits. It did still scrape a little bit, but not too bad. So I'm going to say it's fine. I wouldn't want to do it on concrete, but in dirt or gravel, this will work on my tractor. And I think having the dump bed at an angle is a suitable solution. Another solution would be you could have the trailers a little lower, like if you backed up to an incline or a little ditch or a bank or something where you could have the tractor loading from a spot higher than where the trailer is sitting. But now that it's in there, that doesn't mean it works because we need to understand how our weight's distributed in the trailer. I would like it if the rear axle on the tractor was another foot forward, but let's check it out with the way safe hitch. Combined weight of the tractor and the trailer, the way it's configured right now, is 10,000 pounds. That means I would like to have 1,000 to 1,100 pounds of tongue weight to get 10 to 11 percent of the trailer weight riding on the truck. We are right at 1,000 pounds. I'd like to have the weight just slightly further forward, but we're at the minimum that I consider to be acceptable. So it can be hauled the way it is right now. But you can see the margin on that is really close. And if this was a 7x14, I could still make this fit. But then I don't think you'd have that weight distribution you need unless possibly you could get it by backing on. But then I think you're going to have too much to the front. I also understand that there's a just send it crowd. Sometimes I'm with you guys. In this case, 10,000 pounds or more, I'm going to be darn sure that I'm balanced. By the way, if you're interested, these way safe hitches make towing safer. Simple as that. Understanding how your weight's distributed is the key to safe towing. You can get pretty close eyeballing it and experience can tell you, I like having this and not just for a machine, but for when I'm loading things and I don't know what they weigh. If you're interested in one of these, you can get 15% off at waysafe.com with code ROCKHILL. So now I want to put the configuration that I need to use today on the tractor and do the same test. One more thing to think about when loading this way is these dump beds are a smooth bottom. And if it was wet or especially icy or just slick conditions, you could have a problem. I've seen people trying to pull on here and, and sliding on their dump bed. So that's another safety thing to keep in mind. Okay, WaySafe is reading 1,100 pounds. It's right about where I want to be, and I've got four inches of clearance on the back behind the box blade, which means I could take a tiller or box blade, and I started thinking about what would and would not work, and like with a land plane, which you might actually want to take, you'd have to hang the bucket over the top, which I've been trying to avoid. Someone else pointed something out interesting about the way safe. After I took the backhoe off and I was getting ready to load this, I checked my YouTube comments from yesterday's video, and someone pointed out that the jack stands were still under the back of the trailer when I checked that gauge. So I, I told them at that time, I don't think it was going to make a big difference because there wasn't a lot of weight on them. But in this case, I made sure to get the jack stands out first before checking the gauge. In terms of what attachments will fit here, I could literally take the bucket off, leave it at the front, set the loader over it and into the bucket and gain a little bit of room, but I don't think I need to. I think this is about the only setup I need to take in a dump trailer because I have another trailer for anything but moving dirt or rock or material and I don't, most of the time I would either want a backhoe or a box blade with me for those types of jobs. So, 7x16, 
a 2038R tractor, it works. Just barely. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I need to get out to work. I'm going to put links over here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.